Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and you're in for a treat today as we shop Costco not in New Jersey or even the United States but this time we're going shopping at Costco's Canada. Find out what is different and what is new and what would you want in your Costco. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Last pit stop, I decided to stop by Costco. I just want to give you guys a comparison what it costs here in Canada and what it costs compared to United States in New Jersey. Different Costco's have different items and I just wanted to know because this is like a heavily influenced Asian community, I want to know what items they are selling. Here's something new to me guys, it is a set of skillets, it's professional grade, you can even use it for induction cooking. So I know it sounds like a lot, but if you do the conversion, US is more than a Canadian, so this will cost about 25% less. And it does have an asterisk sign, meaning that it's not coming back. They have this nice carbon steel wok, it's a pretty good size for $70. And then they have a wok with a lid and this is stainless steel, you can also see as you can see in the picture, for $75. I want this so bad, guys. Do you think my husband will get mad at me if I come home with this? Okay, I'm gonna take it down. I just wanna take a quick picture of it. I did promise my husband that this is not gonna take long, so I can't be gawking at these pans all day. I'm gonna have to just keep on moving forward. But look, next time I will be back in Canada and I will grab this baby. This is like the biggest pepper meal I've ever seen and they have it in Costco. I don't know why. This would be like a, for like a restaurant size. It's 31 inches it says and it's for $40. I wish they had a sample but you know, out here. But they, oh, they do. <gasps> look, it's like, <laughs> it looks like a post for, for a railing but look how tall it is. This is more like aesthetics, not so much as a practical use. But that's very interesting that they have it here. I know they have this in Costco, but I don't remember it being this big. And honestly, like, I would love to buy one of these. Though I have this little teeny itty bitty oven, which this is like a full size pan. This would not fit into my oven, but this can fit a whole lot of bacon. I, I do have an oven downstairs that's full size. And I would say you can fit probably three packs here comfortably without like overlaying them. This is coming home with me. I do need a set of kitchen tools. I, uh, if you look at my spatulas, they're kind of like wearing down because I cook a lot and I've had them for some time. And I also need a, another pan opener just because, you know, um, it, they tend to get lost. And these, these are the ones that I use the most. And oh my gosh, this is perfect. So it's on sale, it's $24. You're saving $6 off. You're coming home with me and you're not that big. So my husband's not gonna be upset. It's something that is practical and useful. Let me tell you right now, I love this Costco. They just have unique things in here. They have a different kind of snap lock. It's a snap lock clear. And it has like a white like rubber seal. Now, I don't know if they had this in my Costco at all, but this is uh, something that I don't recall, so that's cute. Stanley tumblers, this is something, yeah, I've not seen this. This is huge, guys. It's 24 ounces. There's two of them for $40 then a really nice organizing bin oh my gosh so adorable this is very cute let's see how they use it on the picture they have their spices they have coffee they have oil oh my gosh this is so adorable for 30 dollars. this is canadian oh and it's not coming back can i grab one let's see i would i wouldn't know exactly where to put it though Ugh. all right i'm gonna pass up on it because i don't have a lot of counter space but that is something unique. This is all my hopes and dreams, guys. I know it's not a lot, but this is what I love. I love kitchen stuff. And look how big this cutting board is. It's made out of teak. It's pretty solid. This this goes by centimeters, so I don't know. Um, I would have to convert this, but it's 50. I would say 51 by 38 by 3.8. So the thickness is 30 uh, 3.8 centimeters, and it goes to I want to say this is about two feet in length approximately okay this would be something i would buy if this was in new jersey oh my gosh it's heavy it's a good i would say five to seven pounds and the mother of all kitchen knives is this john henkel's kitchen set it's gorgeous guys i haven't seen anything this huge with the steel on top of course it doesn't have the knives it's pretty pricey i mean the quality is going to be great it's 250 dollars for a set of 20 pieces they have more refrigerators 
a lot more refrigerators than smaller ones too. They have flooring and stuff that you can buy as if you're in a, you're in a Home Depot or Lowe's. And then if you look behind me, they have washers and dryers. And then at the very corner, they have bread. It's that random. And I don't know what that huge thing that's sticking out next to that uh, bread shelf, but let's take a look. Very odd placement, guys, but this is a kayak right next to the bread. I don't know if they're doing any kind of organizing, but this is kind of odd to me. I mean, there is an exit here, so maybe this is easier for them to bring it in. But this huge kayak, it's 10 feet, it's $480. They definitely have different kinds of breads here. This is rye bread from Klosterbrot. They even have a lower carb bread. That's different, we don't have that in New Jersey. Here's another one, light rye. We have brioche, but this looks like a burger bun to me. This is nice. It says classic bun. It's like a sesame hoagie by Dempster. So this is really, really interesting. Uh, looks like a much better quality. Let's look at the prices, guys. I haven't showed you. So this is a Dempster's Deluxe hot dog buns. Wow, it is pretty deluxe. Two packs. Let's see how many comes in here. It's 12 buns, guys. 12 buns for $8. So that's not bad at all. The brioche bread is also $8, $7.99. The light rye is $6.99. The rye cluster bread is $8.49. And then that low carb bread is $10.99. They even have sprouted bread, organic sprouted bread. And that's $8.99. If you need gluten free bread, and this is $12.99, you're getting two loaves. And then they also have a low carb classic Italian bread. Everything looks so delicious and fancy. I love the packaging. It really is eye catching makes you want to buy more and then they have Kettleman's bagel my cousin just came over to um, to the house and she brought over bagels they kind of look like this but fresh I can literally be here all day all right guys I'm just gonna show you real quick without the commentaries I do have to make this quick but this is their little bakery area much different from from New Jersey from the Costco I go to change about this Costco is not to have the bread section next to fish and meat so close because you don't even smell the bakery it just smells like a fish market oh my gosh I'm drooling over this so, so good. It's really not fair. Really not fair, guys. Look at it. Look at all this yummy stuff. Now, here's something my oldest son would be interested in. He's interested in MMA and also just working out all together. This is a pretty big. Uh, they call it, uh, I guess, heavy bag or punching bag. It's $450 for this huge thing. Again, a little odd setup. They have some bicycles, tricycles, and basketball court stuff. They have the bakery. They have their fish and meat section. And then right in the middle, they have fruit. So just kind of an odd setup, but everything's right here. Farmed salmon filet is... $31 a pound. That is pretty pricey. Morocco oranges are $12.99 and this is a eight pound bag. I'm gonna get one for the road because we are leaving today. This is crazy, but chicken is $14.99 a pound, guys. Crazy. It's actually not pounds, but it's kilograms. So it's $15 per kilogram, which is like 2.2 pounds. 
So this whole thing is about $33.16 Canadian dollars. I have a Lula conversion, see how much it costs. Um, dollars, dollars conversion. So I'll let you guys know in the in the description below. Drumsticks are seven dollars and forty nine cents per kilogram. Ground beef is ten dollars per kilogram. Organic chicken breast is twenty three dollars per kilogram. I don't know, guys, but these are the smallest chicken thighs I've ever seen. They're so tiny. It says organic, boneless, and skinless chicken thighs. And that is $23 per kilogram. But very tiny. Even these wings. Are they not feeding the chickens? Here we go. You have the bone in, skin on, chicken thighs at $8.49 per kilogram. So this is a pretty hefty size. I just can't get over how tiny these things are. A nice helping of pork back ribs and they have it for $8 per kilogram. This is something they don't have in my Costco. It's lean ground pork chub. It's three kilograms for $19. I would buy this if I had this in my Costco because I use ground pork in um, Little Shanghai's, which I haven't filmed yet on my channel, but I do plan to make some Shanghai one day. Yummy yummy pork belly for $10 a kilogram. We have a nice good shoulder butt which I use in barbecue. Pretty good size Asian community here and I think that's why they offer these other sizes or cuts of meats. And so this boneless pork shoulder butt is $6.49 per kilogram. Look at this price. It's lean ground beef in a tube like how Walmart has it. And you're getting $8 off this package. So it's not going to be $10 per kilogram. You're going to take $8 off this whole entire package. I had a lovely chat with this lady. We were just talking about how big this ground beef is. And because she lives alone and she doesn't have anybody, any other friends to share this with. And this would not be practical for her. It doesn't say how lean it is. It just says lean ground beef for $10 per kilogram. So this is like a huge, what is this? Uh, 4.3 kilograms is the weight. This is huge rib oven roast. This is ginormous. This whole entire thing is $126 Canadian dollars. I don't know how you would cook this, but it is $40 per kilogram. I guess you can cut it into, I guess, have the butcher cut it, but I would not um, be able to uh, or even try to cook this massive amount of meat in this salad, um, this steak. Going to the beef cubes, they have it for $17 per kilogram. It is a smaller package than what I'm used to at home. Um, the one I usually buy is probably more filling like this or like that. That looks pretty good though. Looks nice and fresh. Quite a few sales that I didn't notice. They have the rib grilling steak bonus. You're getting $15 off this package. And this one is $47 per kilogram. A lot of sales on meat. They have chicken drumsticks, also $5 off per package taken off the register and they're like a little itty bitty chickens that they don't like to feed <laughs> and mussels mussels oh my gosh my daughter loves mussels but I do not like to cook seafood in the house I actually don't um, like the smell of it in the house and honestly I feel bad when I cook it myself someone else can cook it but I can't cook it but anyway it's two dollars and fifty cents off this package and this is let's see is there a price so it goes by kilo and it's $11.99 per kilo. But they're organic. It has a harvest date of January 25 and we're already in February. That's kind of a kind of far. Yeah. So I mean they're closed. Yeah, they're still closed. We're kind of like dumbfounded about the price here. This one says organic up there. I'm not sure if these are organic. These are farmed shrimps, but look how big they are. Yeah, they are huge. It's $19 per kilogram, and then the smaller one um, says 16 by 20. It's $24 per kilogram. This one's 9 by 14. Oh my gosh, ginormous. Are you comparing? Are you comparing shopping? Well, that's the lady I was talking to. She was so pleasant, very nice. All right, it's getting quite late. We have to head home because um, our family's there. And we need to have breakfast and get the kids going. We need to leave like about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I just wanted to show you their rotisserie chicken is $7.99 per, I guess, per container. Ours is, I think, $4.99. It's different here when it comes to chicken. The prices are different and the chickens are a lot smaller.
didn't mean to kill all the fun, but I had so much footage that I decided to split this video into two parts. I'll be showing you what is inside the dairy section in this Costco and what kind of vegetables are offered. Stick around to watch part two of my first shopping trip in Canada's Costco. If you are liking this content, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Eh?